Manufactured by Grumman, the EA-6B is a carrier-based aircraft designed for tactical electronic warfare. A crew of four operates advanced electronic surveillance and high-powered jamming equipment. The Prowler's objective is to suppress and confuse air defense radar so attack fighters and bombers can complete their missions. Five external pods located under the Prowler's wings and fuselage house the electronic jamming transmitters. Radar jamming can be varied through the frequency spectrum by changing the combination of frequency transmission from each pod. But this flexibility makes the EA-6B an effective weapon against a wide range of radar. The Air Force's EF-111 Raven complements the EA-6B's capabilities by providing U.S. aircraft with a faster and long-range ECM aircraft. The Raven's three tons of sophisticated electronics blankets enemy early warning radar with electrical noise, filling their screens with a haze of false targets. The Raven carries up to 32,000 pounds of fuel, keeping it aloft for over four hours. This allows the aircraft to fly holding pa patterns miles away from enemy fire while using its transmitters to jam enemy radar. In addition to its long range advantages, the aircraft can reach a maximum speed of Mach 2. These speed and long range capabilities allow the Raven to escort bomber groups providing frontline electronic countermeasures against enemy air defense radar. But Operation Desert Storm called for detection and destruction of heavily deployed enemy air defenses. To achieve this radar hunting, F-4G Wild Weasels, flying in company with attack aircraft, were used to destroy Iraqi surface-to-air missiles. The F-4Gs were equipped with high-speed anti-radiation missiles, or HARM, which home in on the SAMS radar transmitter. With the radar antenna destroyed, attack aircraft could then com complete the mission in comparative safety. HARM has several operational modes. Direct attack options include a semi-automatic quick reaction mode to suppress radars threatening the aircraft, a crew-selectable target of opportunity offensive mode to attack unsuspecting radars, and a long-range standoff mode allowing attack of known radar sites from a safe distance. Regardless of the operational mode used, HARM has the ability to adaptively retarget in flight should the operational situation change after the missile has been fired. This capability, called Flex Logic, is unique to HARM and allows the missile to complete its suppression mission in a battle situation. The guidance section contains a broadband radar frequency receiver which features high sensitivity and the ability to discriminate between the signals in a modern radar threat environment. Guidance operation is controlled by a digital central processor unit, which executes target identification, tracking, ELENT, and autopilot functions. The control section features a strapped-down inertial navigation system providing onboard position data to the CPU for computation of optimum missile flight trajectory. The propulsion section is a low-smoke solid propellant rocket motor with a boost and sustain phase to achieve high speed and long range. The success of Operation Desert Storm's initial bombing runs relied heavily on the electronic countermeasures and radar hunting capabilities of America's high-tech aircraft. With these defenses diminished, a barrage of attack aircraft saturated the night sky over Iraq and Kuwait. 